that thing and make a scream. He hits a bat and makes a scream. She turns. Here we go. It's the first day of the month. And my faith is too stupid. This is the day that the Lord has made, ladies and gentlemen. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Welcome to Uncut, another core presentation, March, I need you to get in the comments right now, I need you to hit the share button, yeah, all of my soul top soldiers, salute worldwide. All of my core citizens, you better stand up and represent. Get in the comments, let me know what city you represent. It's your boy, the love and life coach, the hip hop apostle. Yeah, your neighborhood home dealer, Mr. Dale, aka Dale Lawrence. Damn. It's going down, y'all. Welcome to the first of the month, baby. Uncut Tuesdays brought to you by the beautiful people at CORE and the Soul Tides Movement. Listen, every month on my CORE Memphis page, we kick off the series at the first. And I'm so excited that you are joining us this evening, or if you're on the replay, it don't matter. Get in the chat, get in the comments. I want to know where you represent from, what city you represent from, because I'm going to respond to you. I'm going I'm, I'm to love it. Me personally, I'm going to holler at you in those comments. God was speaking to me about what type of month that this would be. And for those of you all who are new to the platform and someone shared this, that, that's, that's first and foremost, everybody hit the share button. Hit the share button right now because that's what we do here at Core Ministries and the Soul Ties Movement. We share the gospel. Don't play with that. We share the gospel. So I need you to hit that share button immediately because that is the theme for this month. As I was praying about where God was taking us, and every month we have a different theme, God told me and he whispered in my ear one word and one word alone, and it was immediately, my God. It was immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Listen, we are entering an immediate season. <laughs> Isaiah 43 and 19, I ain't even going to play with you. Behold, I will do a new thing. Stop the show. Stop. Stop the show right now. How many people know that you are leaving the old and entering to the new? How, how do you know that? You feel it in the air. You feel it in your spirit. You feel it in the atmosphere. You feel it because you see it in your relationships. You see it in your career. You're beginning to be uncomfortable with where you at because you're uncomfortable with the way things have been. You are now stepping into the new. How many people know that it's a newness happening right now. Today is the first day of a spring season that is going to bring new things. 
Certain things had to die over the last six months entering into 22. Certain things had to die because in order for this to be a year of the double, in order for this to be a year of God doing it again, this is your sequel. This is your comeback season. Look, don't call it a comeback. Come on, because this is God doing something for you again. It's a new thing. It's a new thing. It is not the old thing remixed. It is a new thing reintroduced. It is a new thing reimagined. And I need you to get ready because things are about to start happening for you immediately. <laughs> Behold, I will do a new thing. Y'all better hear me. And it shall spring forth. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Spring forth. Wait a minute. Number one, it is springtime. We are on the horizon of it being a new season, leaving the winter, leaving things that were cold, callous, and dead. Listen, and now entering into new birth, entering into new things. The word spring by dictionary definition means, watch this, to move or jump suddenly. Oh, my God. Can I tell you that there are going to be some suddenly blessings in your life? Can I tell you there's going to be some suddenly cash apps, suddenly Venmos, suddenly PayPals? Y'all ain't ready. Suddenly, holy handshakes. Listen, that's coming in your life of increase because things are about to spring. Oh, oh another word for spring is rapidly upward and forward movement. Oh, somebody get in the comments right now and say, God is going to do it for me quickly. Yeah, he's going to do it for me instantly. He's going to do it for me immediately. Jesus, immediately. Listen, I feel that in my spirit. I feel like, listen, the enemy, watch this, has been giving you a demonic delay. Mm, my God. <laughs> It's been a demonic delay on your breakthrough, a demonic delay on your finances, a demonic delay on your marriage, a demonic delay on your relationships. But God is about to do <laughs> a new thing. Y'all better calm down. Don't turn me up up in here. I'm already excited about just the word immediately by itself. All this series is going to be off the chain. He says, can't you see it? Mm. Can't you see it? Can't you see it? Oh, come on, Total. Can't you see? Hey, what you do to me? God is doing a new thing. <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see it? Are you ready? Are you ready? I just got four points for you tonight, y'all. This is just a teaser. I got four points tonight. God wants to know, can you see it? Because it will, watch this, it will not be seen with your natural eyes. God is going to reveal it through your spiritual eyes your spiritual senses. It's going to take, it's going to take double. Mm. It's going to take double. It's going to take not only your natural set, but your spiritual set. My God. I'm going to say it again. Not only your natural set. So in other words, God is about to reveal things to you naturally as well as spiritually. Mm. Simultaneously. It's going, you're going to see it. You're going to see it. You're going to see it in the natural and you're going to see it in the spiritual. You're going to see it as you're just going throughout your day and God is going to show you your new car passing you. He's going to begin to tell you, drive through that neighborhood. I need you to dream big. I need you to see it. Oh my God. Oh man. So look, God is going to tell you, I need you to go here and walk through that building. Walk through that house. Take, look, I don't got no money for the apartment. God, I don't got no money for the house. I don't got no money to test. Look, it don't cost no money to test drive and to go look and do, do a visit and, and a walkthrough of a home. Listen, because the Bible says, wherever my feet tread upon, oh my God, that shall I possess. God is working on your natural to bring you into the spiritual so that you can believe for the supernatural. My God. Who out there feel what I'm talking about? Ooh, this is how you start off the month, baby. This is how you start off a new season. You started off with this word right here tonight, 
immediately. Watch this. Watch this. I got four points for you, and I'm calling it the four eyes because God is going to reveal, watch this, your new thing, your new beginning, your new season through your natural eyes as well as your spiritual. So we're going to call it the four eyes, four eyes, four eyes, not, not, watch this, not four eyes, E Y E, but four eyes, right? Okay, here it is. Here it is. Here's your four points that you gotta you're gonna witness in this season. Number one, immediately. That that's the word for the month. It's 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 gonna come immediately. God is going to do a quick work in your life. He's gonna move fast. Watch this. Also, you're gonna see instantly. <laughs> Instantly, instantly. It's going to be some instant moves that you're going to have to make in the spirit. You, you don't got time to pray on it. You just got to know that it's God. You got to feel him in the moment. Come on, somebody. Listen, listen. When, when, when Jesus called for the disciples to follow him, then the Bible says that they left their nets immediately. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. And the Bible says when someone gave him an excuse, he said, listen, follow me now. Follow me instantly. We don't got time to be praying about it. We don't got time to be fasting about it. If you know the voice of God. If you have a relationship with God, when God says move, you move. Oh my God. When I say move, you move. Just like that. When I move, you move. Hey, just like that. That's how I gotta be, baby. Instant. Or you gonna miss it. Woo, immediately. Instantly. Watch, watch this. You ready for this? Watch this. Watch this. Inner vision. Mm, inner vision. God wants you to see yourself blessed before you become it. I'm going to say it again. God wants you to see inner vision, inner vision. This was a shout out to Stevie Wonder. This was the name of one of his albums, Inner Visions. Inner Visions. Watch this, watch this. It's, it's inner vision. It's, look, look, although Stevie was blind and could not see naturally, he saw inwardly. Oh my God. This is why he can write those beautiful songs that, that watched his painted wonderful pictures because he could see in his mind, in his, in his spirit, God reveal things to him. My God. And God is going to reveal things to you in your inner visions, in your inner visions, my God, in your inner visions. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Let me, I, I got a, I got a text for you. I got a text for you. Oh, no, no, no. We going to close with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We going to close with that. We going to close with that. So number one, immediately, immediately, God is going to move immediately in your life. He's going to do a quick work. And it's all going to be according to your faith. It's all going to be according to your faith. Number two, number two, instantly. God wants you to instantly move when he tells you to move. Don't wait. Don't go and counsel with your mama and your friends and other people. If if God has spoken, I counsel with man no more. It's time to bust a move. Because watch this. The criticality of your reality depends on your expeditious movement. <laughs> Number three, inner vision. God is going to begin to show you things inwardly in your mind, in your spirit, in your heart. You are going to have visions of who you are to become, who you are to be, where you are to live, where you are to drive, what that bank account going to look like. And it's, it's that inner vision that's going to push and propel you to that reality. Inner vision. Inner vision. And the fourth eye. Oh, you get ready for this one. The fourth eye. God, you're ready to drop a bomb. The fourth eye is insults. Prepare for insults. I'm going to say that again. There is no way you are about to walk into a new season of immediate, instantaneous blessings without insults. But watch this. The enemy is mad and it, this word alone has triggered him to poke you through insults. 
You, there will be moments in this season. Listen, hear me, hear me. Because the Bible says that he will not have us ignorant of the devil's devices. There will be moments. Listen to me. Moments. Moments. In this season, in the next three months. That you are going to be insulted. And I don't mean just a step on my shoe bump against me in the club or at the mall or, or at the store insult. I'm talking about an offense. I'm talking about persecution. And it's going to come from people you think are friends. It's going to come from family. It's going to come, you're going to say, oh, not, not that girl. No, 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 not that dude. Yes, that's who the enemy is going to use. But well, watch this. God takes the bad, turn it around for the good. This is what God's going to do with the insult. It, it, watch this. He's going to use it. Watch this. To set you up to prepare for your overflow of blessing. Woo! If you can be patient, be still and hold your tongue when you are insulted. God is going to use that as your graduation piece to launch you into your next. Y'all like, y'all, y'all, y'all don't want to hear that. Oh, let me give you a Bible on that so you understand. The hundredfold. No man that give up anything will not get it back in this life a hundredfold with persecution. Look at that. With persecution. With insult. That means that know that you are about to get, be in the double. You are about to get God's best. But please know what, what comes with God's best and what comes with the double is persecution, is insult. But it's how you handle the insult. Is what predicates how big your season and your harvest is. So here it is, y'all. Let's do the recap before I close out with this verse that's going to blow your mind. Let's do the recap. Num number one, th watch this. God is going to bless you immediately. Yeah, this is the season where God is about to blow your mind. He is about to bless you so fast and out of nowhere that your head goes spin. Number two, it is the season where you move on his word instantly. Don't wait, don't pass go, don't collect $200. When God says go, when God says leave, when God says pursue, when God says do, do it quickly. Oh my God. Number three, this will be a season where God is going to speak through inner vision. He is going to show you, watch this, inwardly before you see it outwardly. Listen, this is this is a season where your prayer needs to be plugged and you need to be tapped in. Listen, I'm telling you, every week, don't miss a lesson. Subscribe right now to my core Memphis channel. That is my main ministry hub right there. That is why I give weekly, weekly Sunday and Tuesday, 7-11, 7-11, 7 on Tuesday, 11 a.m. on Sunday. I'm going to give you that work every week under this slogan immediately. That's the word and the theme for the month of March, immediately. All right? So inner vision, inner vision. You make sure you're hearing that word. The Bible says faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. All you got to do is be plugged in and hear. And when you hear, faith will begin to form the visions inside of your mind, inside of your heart, and inside of your spirit that, watch this, that will make you, it will literally push you toward the vision that you see in your spirit. And the last one, expect insults. Persecution is coming, but it's only coming because the enemy is mad about where you're going to. And he's going to try to use that persecution, use that insult to stop you from getting to your harvest. But we are not going to let him win, are we? We are going to stand on God's word. We will not be easily offended. <laughs> We will watch this, let it roll off our sleeves. Ah! We will raise up a standard and raise up the shield of faith that will quench every fiery insult that will that the enemy will try to shoot toward us. Why? Because we waited too long to get to this season. And I be, come on somebody, before I let you stop me from my due season. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, woo, 
Immediately, 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 I call forth everything that belongs to me. Immediately, I call forth everything that belongs to the watcher. I thank you right now, whether they're on live or on replay, they are stepping into their one today. They are stepping into day one of their season of immediate, instant blessings. I thank you for the inner visions that we are going to get from the word and from talking to you, and praying with you. God, I thank you for the insults because if, it, it, like David said, if I had not been afflicted, I never would have learned the statutes. In other words, I never would have got greater if it wasn't for what I went through. Come on, somebody. So I thank you right now, God, for everything that's about to happen in this season. And I receive it immediately. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Listen, woo, that was woo. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready, y'all. I can't wait. Listen, I want you to sow a seed right now. I want you to sow a seed, an immediate seed into this word right now. I want you to sow it right now. Drop it like it's hot. Listen, Sow it right now. There it is, the cash app right there on the screen. Venmo right there on the screen or go to our website and, and sow at the soul to, uh, at corememphis.com forward slash donate. There it is. Information is right there on the screen. But listen, I'll see you Sunday, 11 a.m. We are going to begin our series called Immediately. God bless you and expect an overflow of immediate Blessings and a new season that is springing forth right now. In Jesus' name, amen.